Hi, you might have seen images or videos of this beautiful electric car named Prevega Extension MK1. This is a high performance electric car and they are going to launch this version 2 very soon. Today we have a chat with Mr. Anirudh Vijay Kumar, who is the lead of battery engineering team at Prevega Dynamics. Anirudh is also an ex Tesla Motors employee. He was working as a mechanical battery designer there. Anirudh, welcome to the interview. How are you doing today? I thank you for that. Uh, I'm doing great. So let's have a nice chat. And uh, my first question is regarding the stunning look of this electric car. I know Prevega Extinction is a unique car in many different ways. But before getting into that, I would know about what's the secret behind this stunning stylish look. This body shape is not copied from any other car design, right? So, so how yeah. did your team come up with such a beautiful design? Yes. So. Uh to start off with the look of the vehicle, uh, we had to go more on the engineering front. We wanted to uh, have this uh, design to be completely aerodynamic. Uh, so we were using this, uh, so it's fully conceptualized from the fact that we wanted this vehicle to be a fully functional vehicle. So it was to test the concepts, test the battery pack, as well as the body design concepts. And uh, keeping all of that in mind, we wanted to keep the drag forces at uh, bare minimum, at the lowest uh, lowest possible. So you can see the vehicle actually has a low wide, wide stance. So that keeps the center of mass and the center of gravity low. It's got an equal weight distribution uh, in the forward and the rear. And uh, it's got ground clearances that are very comparable to vehicles that are in the market today. Uh, so just to give like an apples to apples comparison. And the main reason for this was to keep it functional as well as to test the aerodynamics of the, of the vehicle and the battery and uh, the performance as well. So uh, that was the main idea behind this. And that's why you see this kind of a fluidic design. Uh, it's, it's a coupe style uh, vehicle. Uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's just the basics and the interiors, when you look at it, it's, it's got a minimal design in the interiors. We were trying to go for a fully uh, clean look uh, with the minimal design, yet fully functional. So you'll see uh, many of the body panels uh, and uh, if, if you look at the roof and the headliner of the vehicle, it's got uh, like a cockpit style uh, with all the controls that are easily accessible for engineers. Uh, we've uh, also got uh, all the controls which are accessible to the driver and the co-driver so that you know it's uh, it was used as a data collection vehicle uh, and kind of testing uh, and a proof of concept vehicle yes nice so improvements in aerodynamics led to a unique stylish design right yes yes that is correct that's great to know so i think your engineering team gave more importance for aerodynamics than stylish look but eventually look is also stylish yes people love it Oh, yes, that's great to hear. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the design because uh, it's not a copy design at all. The look is totally different. At the same time, stylish. That's a rare thing to achieve, right? Uniqueness as well as originality. Yeah, usually the concept and uh, uh, and the prototype and what is actually in production are, are like completely different as what, what, what we've used to seeing. Uh, but we are trying to achieve both. But uh, yes, it also turns out that our design uh, is it's a very attractive design. Yes, it's very pleasing to the eyes as well. Perfect, perfect. Now, we are talking about the range of this electric car. 500 kilometers of range in a single charge. So did uh, private dynamics invent something in the battery chemistry or battery management system? What's the secret? Well, uh, uh, that is uh, that is a secret, uh, but I can give you some uh, little bits of information on uh, how we uh, how we achieve that. So from my past experience in Tesla, uh, my past design experience, I've gained a lot uh, and I've got to know a lot about, you know, uh, materials and with the new advances in engineering. So we didn't really reinvent the wheel per se, but as engineers, we applied what was available and kind of tweaked it a little bit for our uh, and, and made it more advantageous to us. So in terms of, you know, uh, the, our battery technology, we have made uh, a few uh, advancements in the cooling system. Uh, we have made uh, a lot of advance, a lot of importance has been given to battery safety. Uh, as well as you know it's a very uh, if it, it battery technology is about uh, using the right kind of a cell you have to arrange it in the right way so that you get your serial 
and the parallel connections right and the configuration of your battery right as well as have it really safe because this is going into a passenger vehicle so whoever is going to be operating it it has to be tested and uh, another aspect of our engineering what what made us uh, get to this was our accelerated uh, test process so we we for a product design and an engineer to make a product that is successful in the market it not only has to be fully functional but it also has to be a reliable product so we have uh, we have done extensive testing over the last few years uh, with this battery module uh, both on the vehicle as well as off the vehicle even before it went on so uh, our learnings from all of those uh, a lot of uh, failure points and pain points like a lot of engineers face uh, have only made us much better and made this whole process uh, this whole battery system a much more mature and evolved battery system from what we first started out with so uh, and a thorough knowledge of uh, the fundamentals uh, of materials is really important because in a battery everything is uh, in your battery pack uh, there's a lot of uh, materials that are in contact with each other and react with each other in very different ways so uh, knowledge testing and understanding of all of that was key to uh, getting us to that 500 kilometer mark yes good impressive so better cooling management right and uh, rigorous testing for safety purpose the last was material improvement right that you mentioned yes and we've seen suppliers uh, so compared to say five years ago where the material availability was on the lower side in in evs and companies were not really fully focused in electric vehicles now have made uh, up more investments in r&d for newer materials so where safety is becoming a very important uh, aspect of electric vehicles so we've yes. harnessed harnessed all of that industry knowledge as well uh, to kind of put together this piece uh, which is in the in the battery pack and uh, one more thing is we've also in uh, in in-house uh, designed and tested a BMS a battery management system uh, which is also very key because you know a battery is a it's kind of a dumb object without a brain behind uh, the functioning of it and the brain behind it is the BMS so uh, Lots of testing with the BMS also, and we, uh, I really stress, at, at Praveg, we really stress on extensive testing of everything and learning through uh, failures and not looking at it as a setback. You know, every failure is actually a great plus point for us because we move so much farther ahead in the development process. Okay, so improvements in BMS as well, right? The software behind the battery, the brain behind the battery. Great. So it was an improvement in almost all the areas of battery management system. And uh, finally, Prevec Dynamics crossed the range of 500 kilometers. Great achievement. Yes. And, and just to add to that a little, we've, uh, we've experimented with different battery chemistries, uh, starting from LFP to NCM to NCA chemistries okay. and different form factors. And uh, through, again, a lot of improvements through this. Uh, so it's not specifically... Uh, a, a single invention that has changed it, but it, I think it's the right combination of engineered parts that make this a, a unique product. Nice, nice to hear that. Now, Andrew, let's move to the heart of the electric car, the motors. Uh, recently, Tesla Motors have a set a trend of using a unique motor called IPM Sinarum. So, Prevec distinction is it using an IPM Sinarum motor or uh, induction motors again? So, uh, on in the beginning when we started off we uh, started using induction motors uh, primarily because uh, the ipm scenario motors and the technology was not very well known or uh, readily available to us in india so uh, as soon as that became available and we've got suppliers and partners uh, we have moved over to the ip scenario motors uh, it's got inherent uh, advantages over an induction motor uh, also uh, you know, for high speeds and uh, much better efficiency, it has uh, really made a significant increase in our uh, battery capability and the vehicle capabilities. Yeah, so Prevec also is trusting on IPM Sinara motors, right? Yes, yes, definitely. That that's so we see that as the as the future of electric vehicles as of now for for motors. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's much more efficient. I think more more uniform torque, right? 
Yes, more, more uniform talk curve. Uh, the back EMF isn't uh, a problem as, as we yes. faced a lot of back EMF issues in induction motors. Hmm. Yeah, that's perfect, Anirudh. And uh, we have a lot of international audience here, Anirudh, and uh, they might be keen to know about this as a beautiful car. Will, will it be available in their country? So, uh, from Prevec Dynamics side, is there an international launching plan? So, currently, we are focusing uh, mainly in the uh, for the Indian market. Uh, okay. I think our first uh, breakthrough we are, we're designing, we've designed this vehicle and we're testing it uh, for the for Indian conditions. But on okay. the side, uh, in terms of uh, safety features, in terms of your global end cap and your your capabilities, and your reliability testing, which is uh, something that we're doing very very vigorously. I uh, after it's been qualified here, it it uh, it means that it's all we're going far ahead and above and beyond the ARAI homologation requirements of vehicles in India. So mm-hmm. our after our product is launched, it will be. Uh, it will be ready to be launched and homologated in other countries as well. Uh, but we're first targeting the Indian audience uh, because we've built this uh, for India uh, as, a, as an idea for India and we'll take it from India to the world. That's, a, that's our whole idea. Yeah, so a international quality product from India, right? Yes. And uh, once it works well in India, it will work anywhere in the world. <laughs> yes, yes, we have, uh, you know, not very good road conditions, uh, as you may <laughs> know, and we Maybe have traffic, uh, right? and we have a huge variation of uh, climatic zones. So we have right exactly. from the Himalayas to the southern coastal zones and the west coast and the east coast. It's all dramatically different. And we have tested uh, our vehicle in all of these conditions. So. Yeah. After it can be used here, uh, we are confident that it can be uh, applied anywhere else in the world. Anywhere. Don't have to worry about which country it is going to be launched, right? It will work. Yes, it will work. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and uh, the, the, now the big question, the MK2 version is coming, the next version of Preve Extinction. Yes. And uh, experiments are high, I guess. So, f- so can we use this expect more range, more torque and more speed from the MK2 version? Yes, uh, definitely. So uh, the MK1 version, so we are uh, releasing an MK2 version soon. Uh, the MK1 was, uh, like I mentioned before, a test mule. It's a, it's a mule vehicle, mainly to test proof of concept and kind of uh, go through the early life failures and make a much better design for our MK2. And MK2 is also going to be uh, from from the existing look. We have kind of uh, taken some design cues and uh, slightly re-engineered the vehicle in uh, in terms of the interior. So we're having you know much more plush interiors, uh, a, a better driving experience, a better passenger experience, a, a traveling, a commuting experience. And it'll be uh, not a coupe version. It'll be more of a four door version, which is uh, okay. uh, more usable. Uh, and it's, it's a product that we would uh, be launching soon. And yes, uh, in terms of the battery technology, uh, it's got an improved BMS, it's got an improved and uh, a much more efficient cooling system. Uh, and it it's also packs a lot more power. So we're still waiting for the range numbers to come after our testing, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to beat our previous estimates. Okay, it will be the previous estimate, right? Yes, yes. Good, good. Okay, Andrew, I am done with my questions and uh, thanks a lot for taking your time out from busy schedule and uh, attending this interview. I hope our viewers really enjoyed it. It was quite informative. And I wish the whole Prevake Dynamics team all the best, all the success. Your MK2 version is coming and it is open to the public. We can purchase that car or at least use the car. We are eagerly waiting for that. Thank you for joining the interview once again. Bye-bye.